lot of smartphones in the market right now are kind of identical, not just when it comes to specifications, but also when it comes to looks. But thankfully, nothing has something that um, that is really interesting, and that is the Nothing Phone 2. So this is their latest smartphone. This is the second generation Nothing Phone, and yes, it still comes with a lot of glyphs at the back. And yes, we're gonna review this smartphone today. But before that, let me introduce myself. I am Jam Jamonline.ph, and uh, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're gonna make a review of, uh, of the Nothing Phone 2. Okay, so just to give you an idea, I actually turn on the glyphs at the back. I could actually turn it off anytime that I want. So let's talk about the design of the smartphone. So first, we still got here the transparent back with a really, really cool design at the back. I actually love the design of the Nothing Phone to us. This one is really unique and something that we uh, we can find with other smartphones. Actually, other smartphone brands are actually copying already the Nothing Phone's design. And yes, that is glass at the back. It's solid. It's really nice. But I wish that this one has a tougher Kundun glass, something like that, since this smartphone is meant to be naked and, you know, without a case. There are 33 individually addressable zones at the light of the smartphone. As you can see at the back, it is really nice. And nothing is working out with Uber to bring yung notifications and also yung parang progress dito sa lights. Unfortunately, we do not have Uber, but I wish that nothing will, uh, will work out with uh, other applications such as Grab and other apps to bring yung customizable um, lights dito sa atin. And yes, this one is a really cool smartphone when it comes to the aesthetics. I super love the design of this one. As for the sides, uh, this one comes with a flat sides. But unlike the previous generation of Nothing Phone, which is completely flat in the back and then flat on the sides, this one I say flat sides, yes, but there are curves right now on the glass of the smartphone over at this part. Ayan, dito sa part na to, and dito sa part na to. And um, it adds to the ergonomics of the smartphone. It adds to the grip to the smartphone. But again, um, this smartphone would be best used to go with a case if you want to take care of it. But for me, personally, this one would go naked because this smartphone is meant to be naked kasi gusto ko makita ng mga tao yung glip interface niya. Below the smartphone is actually where you can find a USB-C port and also the speaker grill along with the card a card tray and then on the right we got here the power button and on the other side we got here the volume rocker the buttons are actually uh, not a problem for me they are really reachable naman pagdating sa kamay and despite its size okay ako sa kanya i actually like the combination that we got in here glass and metal it adds to the premium feel of the smartphone so mga compare nyo talaga siya sa isang flagship smartphone uh despite being uh, placed in the premium mid-range segment dito sa smartphone na to. As for the water and dust resistance, this one is IP54 lang. It's not IP68. Don't expect too much from it, but um, enough na naman yung protection na yun sa mga everyday usage sa smartphone. So for the battery, this smartphone comes with 47mAh of battery. And for charging, this one is quite disappointing as this one only packs a 45 watts charging despite having a flagship na SOC. Sana man lang meron tayo ditong 60 watts or 65 watts. But yeah, it's only at 45 watts. But yeah, there's wireless charging at the back as well. As for the battery, we actually tested it at PC Mark Work 3.0 battery test and we got a score of 16 hours and 52 minutes. This one is actually pretty long and this one is way beyond what I expected since we only got your 4700 mAh of battery. Uh, Medyo nakita ko talaga dito that the smartphone is really optimized when it comes to battery life. And I like how nothing was op was able to optimize the battery, the software, and everything on the smartphone. Now, let's talk about the display of the smartphone. So, there's the uh, OLED 6.7-inch uh, Full HD Plus display. It uh, actually comes with Corning Gorilla Glass uh, protection. It's an always-on display. But yeah, uh, the smartphone does look really nice sa unahan pa lang and unlike the nothing phone one yung ating selfie camera is in the middle this time there are noticeable bezels on the smartphone which isn't that bad and it's a flat display so watching movies on youtube on netflix or whatever or even just playing games like honkai impact which i always do on the nothing phone 2 is actually a breeze and it's really useful kasi nga flat display siya walang uh, curves walang uh, parang, you know, yung warping pag nanonood kayo na movies or na videos and playing games, kahit na fast-paced games yung mas comfortable siya larain kasi flat display. 
it's also very usable outside and according to nothing this one comes with a 1600 nits of brightness and i do agree with them because it's super bright nya and super usable nya even at direct sunlight which is really great and the smartphone also comes with 120 hertz refresh rate it's also dynamic so it adjusts depending on how you use the smartphone it also saves some battery which is why probably kaya tayo nakakuha ng 16 hours of battery life sa PC Mark Work 2.3.0 battery test is because of the dynamic natin na refresh rate now let's talk about the camera of the smartphone for the camera of the smartphone, this one is actually not so special but it's already powerful for a uh, flagship level na isang smartphone. So for this one, we got two rear cameras, a 50 megapixel IMX 890 main camera and then there's the 50 megapixel na Samsung JN1 ultra wide camera. Unfortunately, there's no telephoto lens on the smartphone which is uh, just a little bit disappointing for me. I was expecting a triple lens camera because having a telephoto lens is really useful especially um, when I'm in a concert or when I'm in the road and I'm in passenger seat and I need to shoot something really fast, zoom in, quick, shoot, ganun sana. But make no mistake because despite the lack of the telephoto lens on the Nothing Phone 2, I was actually really uh, amazed with its camera as it exceeded my expectations. In my camera test of the Nothing Phone 2, I actually like the quality of the shots that we got dito sa smartphone ato. The colors are great and of course, yung even yung ultra wide niya, maganda rin yung kuha niya. This is because of the IMX 890 sensor for the main or the wide shots and the JN1 sensor for the ultra wide was actually pretty optimized as well. Combined with that is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So imagine, we got a really good hardware and then the processing on the flagship level na processor is really good as well so they did a really good job dito sa smartphone ato. and if you want to take videos i was able to record at 4k uh and super happy ako dun sa results dito unfortunately 1080p lang dun sa selfie camera niya so we're currently using the nothing phone to uh, selfie camera we can record at 1080p at 60 frames per second which isn't that bad and surprisingly the stabilization of the front facing camera of the smartphone is quite great and I do like it, so for content creators like me and for those vloggers, they would definitely love the selfie camera of the smartphone. So this is using uh, the 4K camera, the rear camera of the smartphone at 4K at 60 frames per second. So this one's quite good as well. Uh, the civilization was pretty good. However, the uh, audio pickup of this one isn't as great as other smartphones. But surprisingly, the stabilization, the quality of uh, the video is uh, better than I expected. And what I like about it is that uh, this one comes with a red LED at the back of the smartphone so you know that the smartphone is recording. So overall, the camera of the smartphone is quite good for me. And again, katulad ng ibang features na meron si nothing phone, it even exceeded my expectations. Now let's talk about the software and performance of the smartphone. So first, gusto ko pag-usapan yung performance. There's the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and the one that we got comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. As for playing games, playing games like Mobile Legends, Call of Duty won't be a problem, of course. Uh, however, I've noticed that after playing a longer time dito sa smartphone ato, I noticed that the smartphone really heats up and minsan slightly nag overheat siya. Especially when I'm playing games like Genshin Impact or Honkai um, Star Rail at a higher settings. You could really feel the warm and the heat dun sa likod ng smartphone ato, and it gets really hot. And sometimes the processor really throttles pagdating sa mga games na yon. And consider that this one is the 8 plus gen 1 which is a little bit better compared to the 8 gen 1 when it comes to thermal handling well i was a little bit disappointed in that one so if you're planning on playing games well i suggest that you set it at the medium settings not the highest settings yes you could play on the smartphone yes you could play for a longer time but if you are setting it at the higher graphic settings then you might uh feel the throttling dito with the one uh, with the nothing phone 2 now let's talk about the software of the smartphone so this one comes with the nothing os and right now it's uh, nothing os 2.0.1 and actually had have an update right now which is kakapasok lang today but 
speaking of the software, let's go back to the software. The uh, the magic dito is actually the UI. So you can see uh, the home screen is really good. One of the best home screens that I've seen on an Android smartphone in a while. And kita kita mo talaga yung harmony and yung ganda nung kanyang UI. Uh, as you can see with the icons, you can download the theme pack or the icon pack sa nothing sa Play Store, which is really good. I actually like that. And the widgets, man. These are magic. Yung widgets talaga na meron tayo dito. There are nothing widgets oh, that is built in with the smartphone and they work perfectly. So whether I want to see your quick look, the weather, the time, everything digital, um, everything with the nothing phone 2 is really, really an eye candy. But those are just some of the things that you might love about uh, the Nothing OS. But here is the magic and probably one of the main reasons why you should buy this one. And that is the Glit interface. So if you still remember the days of 3210 or 3310, you age. Well, there are composer dun, di ba? And you can also do that with the Nothing. I actually recorded a Glit interface dito and I actually play it. So I just created it using the Glip Composer that we have built in dito sa smartphone na to. And of course, there are other themes like Weevil, ibang sound. Oh. So it's a really cool feature, di ba? Na meron tayo dito. And you could customize it. And you could have the Glip's uh, interface at the back of the smartphone really light up depending on what you want dito sa uh, nothing phone too. But of course, you can also add your own lights if you want. Ganda. Amazing. This is amazing. Okay, ang ganda niya kasi whenever you're in a party or in a dinner, you have to place the smartphone lang sa table, di ba? Patong yun lang. Actually, automatic naglalight up ngayon phone pag pinatong ko siya. Another eye candy. And whenever someone's calling you or there's someone na may notification sa smartphone mo, well, the smartphone or the nothing phone too, just light up at the back and you already know na meron ka notification. No vibration, no uh, sounds needed, just the lights. Again, another cool feature about the Nothing Phone 2 and probably its unique selling point. When you're charging the smartphone, you could also see the charging meter and you could turn it on dito sa Glip interface natin. Uh, and actually, gusto ko yung mga minor details and minor tweaks that the Nothing Phone has. And nakikita mo siya. Kasi nga, it's purely about aesthetics dito sa smartphone na to. And that's what makes the Nothing Phone 2 really fun and different compared to other smartphones. Again, other smartphones doesn't have a Glip interface and some other brands are now copying it. I could actually use this one as a Glip timer as well if I wanted to but I hope that Nothing will continually uh, update the smartphone to bring in more third-party integrations with the Glip interface and probably bring in more talagang in-house talaga na mga features. Hopefully, hindi ko alam, like, it's probably useful sa lights or anything. So I hope that Nothing could bring in more in-house features dito and some surprises na hindi natin expect Actually, I think there are more applications that can take advantage of the Glip interface of the smartphone and I do hope that they can partner with those brands and with those applications. So yeah, I guess that's it for our review of the Nothing Phone 2. It's a really fun smartphone. Aesthetic-wise, sobrang okay niya. And yes, as for the hardware, we do got here a pretty good processor, uh, not a Snapdragon 7 series processor, and now an 8 series. Uh, the camera is actually pretty good. The experience of the smartphone is great. The software is awesome. However, I've just noticed that when it comes to gaming, Masyado siyang mainit kapag nasa higher settings. So, compared to the Nothing Phone 1, this one starts at a steeper price of 38990 for the 12 gigs plus 256 gig variant. Uh, however, again, you have to take note that this one is now using an 8 plus Gen 1 processor. N on a flagship level processor na. Hindi na siya nandun sa mid-level katulad ng Snapdragon Gen 1 or Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 2 or something like that. So for nothing, it's also an upgrade dun sa kanilang phones kasi nga, hindi na siya mid-range level. Nandun na siya sa premium uh, na mid-range or almost at the flagship level. And if you ask me, that is worth the price considering that the smartphone does have a cool lights at the back, the Glip interface which is really unique. And of course, maganda naman yung kanyang camera and maganda yung performance. So if you want a phone that is really unique and something aesthetic and can perform really 
fine, but not the most powerful one. Well, the Nothing Phone 2 is now available at Digital Walker. So yes, do get it at Digital Walker, Lazada, Shopee, or at their store. They also have their website so you can order it. And my God, ang ganda ng smartphone talaga when it comes to aesthetics. One of the best, probably the best uh, looking smartphone na meron ngayon sa uh, so market. So I guess that's it for our review of the smartphone. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. Once again, I am jumpjumonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in our next video.